At the end of this extraordinary year, I want to say something about the meaning of Christmas, because I've never known a Christmas like it, not in my lifetime, and I bet not in yours either. And in most years, it's a moment for togetherness and celebration in which the generations are jumbled together in the same household for days on end, pulling crackers, snogging under the mistletoe, you name it. And yet this year, that is the one type of Christmas we simply cannot afford to have. And it grieves me because I think everyone hoped and prayed, I certainly did, that things could be, if not normal, then as normal as possible for as many families as possible. And yet, we have had to confront the reality of the new strain of COVID, uh, the speed with which it spreads, and I bet you agree that we had no choice but to take action. And therefore, to all those who may be feeling momentarily cast down or a bit exhausted, or frankly in need of any kind of cheering up, I want to talk about what for me is the deeper meaning of Christmas, this amazing festival at the turn of the year. Because it's not about presents or turkey or brandy butter, much though I like all of that kind of stuff. It's about hope. It's about a basic idea of rebirth and renewal. And though we may not be able to celebrate as normal this year, I still think that feeling of hope is all around us this Christmas because there really is a star in the sky and it is glowing brighter and brighter. And you know what it is. It's thanks to the efforts of wise men and wise women in the East and elsewhere. We have a vaccine and we know that we're going to succeed in beating coronavirus and that these privations that we're going through are temporary. And we know that next year really will be better. And we know that there, are, well, there will be people alive next Christmas, people we love alive next Christmas, precisely because we made the sacrifice and didn't celebrate as normal this Christmas and see them in the way that we would have done. And by the way, tonight, on Christmas Eve, I have a small present for anyone who may be looking for something to read in that sleepy post-Christmas lunch moment. And here it is. Tidings, glad tidings of great joy, because this is a deal, uh, a deal to give certainty to business and travellers and uh, all investors in our country from the 1st of January, uh, a deal with our friends and partners in the EU. You remember the oven ready deal by which we came out on January the 31st? That oven ready deal was just the start of this is the feast, full of fish, uh, by the way. And I believe it will be the basis of a happy and successful and stable partnership with our friends in the EU for years to come. So that's it. That's the good news from Brussels. Now for the sprouts and a happy Christmas to you all.